Hey guys, Norm McGregor for our island adventure on Isle of Hadagwai. Alright, so I'm in the solar greenhouse and one of the things you got to look at with plants when you're working with a greenhouse is pollination. And outside plants have the luxury of having bees do the pollinating, such as we're watching right now. But in the greenhouse, very rare do you ever have a bee come in. So uh, I'm going to show you how to be the bee. Alright, let's get on with that. Okay, so we're looking at my zucchini plants. And here we have this wonderful big zucchini and another one over here. But these don't happen without the pollination of the male and the female flowers. So this is a male flower. Now a male flower has no zucchini attached to it. And if we look inside of him, this guy's closing up, so he's just about done. Zucchini flowers only last a few hours during a day, so you gotta get to them quick. But if you look inside, okay, come on, open up. Okay, he has a little boy part, okay, and that little boy part sends out a bunch of little yellow dust. So we got to take that yellow dust and we got to mix it with a female plant. So let's go find a female plant. See, over here I have a female plant. Now this female plant has a zucchini, baby zucchini attached to it. And inside, if you look at this plant, it has what looks like a little female part. So now we got to get the boy dust into the girl. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so what I use is a Q-tip. Okay, so I go to find my little boy plant. I stick him in. Rub them all around, and you see I get all kinds of little yellow dust on there. Yeah, I'm going to take that over to the little girl plant, and I'm going to dust him all over the female part. So now, what's going to happen is the zucchini that's attached to that female is going to turn into a full mature zucchini. If you don't do that, it's not going to happen. So, let's see. Uh, actually, I think I may have one that's not that I didn't get to fertilize. I try to keep them fertilized all the time. Let me see if I can go find one. Okay, so I had to go outside to find one, but here's there's a zucchini that we that got fertilized, and here is a zucchini that didn't. As you can see, the flower is dead, and the zucchini is dying, and he's not going to develop anything, so we're just going to pop him off, because he's a waste of energy at this point. That's, they get kind of tough, so you got to cut them off. Anyways, he's not going to develop into anything, so let's get rid of him and ease the drain on the plant. As you will see, I'm going to pull him up. He's turning all brown, starting to die. Yep, he's done. Okay, so we see that even outside, uh, sometimes they always don't get fertilized. Inside, it's I keep a rigorous... Um, routine of every day coming in and trying to get in fertilizer. Okay, tomatoes are the same. Ooh, what's that? Okay, tomatoes are the same. So we got these flowers here, and you'll see we got light ones and dark ones, and I'm not sure which is male, which is female, but I just go through and I use a Q-tip, and again I just wipe them all over. Here's a nice bright one. Here's another one. And I just wipe the Q-tip and I spread it out so that it's nice and fluffy. 
you could use a feather, you could use all kinds of things. But what this does is this spreads the pollen among the plant and you end up with zucchinis, so just or uh, tomatoes. So just go through that every day or so. And especially in the greenhouse, you will be the bee, you will pollinate your plants, and you'll end up with mm, tomatoes like these. Alright guys, Norm McGregor on Isles of Hideaway for our island adventure. Take care.